Sorry. What are all the numbers that are five units away from zero? Negative five and positive five. Negative five and positive five. These are the two numbers that are five units away from zero. Hence, the solution to this equation is x equals five and x equals negative five. Does that make sense? And if you think of it logically, the value that has to go in this absolute value to make it true is either five or negative five. Because the absolute value of five is five and the absolute value of negative five is five. Review, you guys should have seen this before. Great. So how are we gonna deal with it in something like B where x minus three, the absolute value of x minus three equals seven. So I'm gonna tell you guys this a couple different ways so that you understand what you're doing and not memorize it, okay? First of all, the value, what value can be in this absolute value so that it equals seven? Go ahead, you put on your mic and yell it out. Positive or negative seven? Perfect. So in here, the value in this absolute value must be seven or negative seven. Which means that x minus three must either equal seven or x minus three must equal negative seven. Now, that means now that we solve it, x could be 10 or x could be negative four. So this value, this value, what the expression, not the variable, but the expression in the absolute value must either equal the positive or negative of the value on the other side of the equation. Now, remember when you guys said it's how far it is from zero? Well, 10 and negative four aren't the same distance from zero, are they? Okay, but here, let me ask you this question. What value of X makes this expression equal to zero? Go on, turn on your mic and answer. Yeah, Viv, shoot, it's three. Three makes this equal to zero. What's seven units to the right? 10. 10. What's seven units to the left? Negative four. That's our two answers. So this is the distance from zero but it's not x that's zero, it's the expression in the absolute value that's zero. Deep. But this is the understanding and not the memorization. So this is what I want you guys, I want you to think through that, okay? So rules for solving an absolute value. First of all, isolate the absolute value. Get it all by itself. So if I had the absolute value of x minus three plus seven equals 21, we'd have to get this to the other side to isolate the absolute value. Once you've isolated the absolute value, then you're gonna write two equations. One where the expression in the absolute value is the positive number, the other when the value inside the expression equals the negation which is exactly what happened here. X minus three, which is the value, is the value of the expression in the absolute value equals the positive seven and the negative seven. Good to go? All right. Go to the next page and practice a little bit.
Go ahead, you guys can all sit there and do the first one. I will give you 90 seconds. Begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I would subtract six from both sides. Three times the absolute value of two X plus five equals negative three. Divide both sides by three, two X plus five equals negative one. So now I write my two equations, two X plus five equals negative one. And my other one would be two X plus five equals positive one. Subtract five, two X equals negative six. So X equals negative three. In this case, we're gonna subtract five, two X equals negative four, X equals negative two. Are we good? Questions? Okay, now if we plugged it back in, ladies and gentlemen, if we plug negative three back in here, two times negative three is negative six, plus five is negative one. The absolute value would be one. Three times one is three, plus six is nine. Nine does not equal three. This is not a solution. The next one, ladies and gentlemen, let's put negative two in here. Two times negative two is negative four. Negative four plus five is one. The absolute value is one. Three times one is three. Three plus six is nine. Nine equals three. It doesn't, this is not a solution either. Okay, here we go. Where did we screw up or, and why do these answers not work? Anybody think they know? Who's gonna be the one? Is it because you need to get rid of the two in the uh, like absolute value, like the two x, and you need to just isolate x? Well, no, the two's okay in there. I mean, we're okay with the two in there, but it has to do with the absolute value, though. Nobody? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, right here. Uh, wait, because it's uh, absolute value, it can't equal negative one. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, remember we said anytime you take the absolute value of an expression, it will always be positive? In this case, we have the absolute value of an expression equals a negative number, which is impossible. That's why these, neither of these work. Therefore, this one is no solution. We're gonna take one where the expression equals the positive value, the other one where the expression equals the negation. You didn't divide by two. I didn't divide by two. You, you are so right. Thank you. <laughs> So, this will be four and four. I divided by two and then I didn't divide by two. So ladies and gentlemen, x equals nine and x equals, geez and Pete, one. So we plug it back in. Nine minus five is four, the absolute value is four, two times four is eight, eight plus six is 14. Correct. If I put one in, one minus five is negative four, but when I take the absolute value, it becomes positive four. Two times four is eight, plus six is 14. Both of these work. Good to go? All right, you got... I did it a different way. I distributed the two. Oh! 
Danny Claypool said, hey, I distributed the two into the absolute value. Danny Claypool, that is fine. If you look at example F, it says, can I distribute into the absolute value? I will be uh, addressing that here pretty soon. Uh, for now, don't. All right. Cool? Yeah. Oh, where did the one come from? I know where the nine came from. But... Oh, when I add negative four plus five is positive one. Where's the positive four? Say again? I thought it was a positive four. No, 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 it's a negative four. Because I have to make this equal to the positive, and this one is the negation. So this one is four, and this one was negative four. So ladies and gentlemen, I got negative three and negative two. What I want you to do is I want you to plug negative three and negative two back into this equation and see if it works. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you have to tell me why it doesn't work. <laughs> 